microaggressions are rooted in implicit bias, those unconscious attitudes and beliefs that we form about different groups based on the information that we receive from our families of origin, from the media, from other people, we form thought, even though we may not have had interactions around particular groups, we form stereotypes about them, which are grounded in our bias. And so we talk about implicit bias because it acts in your unconscious awareness that people who engage in microaggressions usually don't mean to be racist or sexist or ableist, but it's really those biases that they hold emerging. and to stop the microaggressions. And then asking follow-up questions like, well, what did you mean? Or what do you mean by that? Taking an inquisitive stance because that forces the person to get into the hidden message of what they were saying and to help them uncover it. We call that making the invisible visible because microaggressions, they always have this hidden message there that the recipient, that the giver may or may not be very conscious or aware of. And so by asking, asking or inquiring, well, tell me more, or what did you mean by that? It helps them to reflect more on the statement. The other thing that's important to keep in mind is to focus on impact, not intention, because the almost like an automatic reaction when people are called out about microaggressions is I didn't mean that, or you're taking it the wrong way. Okay, fine, you didn't mean that, but nonetheless, it's important to focus on the impact that you still hurt somebody. And so think about it in schools, when you're moving about in a busy hallway or during lunchtime, if you get crowded in spaces and then someone bumps into you, if you say, ouch, or ooh, you make a noise, usually people immediately will turn and be like, oh, my bad, or I'm sorry. It's the same type of thing. They didn't mean to hit you, but when they recognize that they did because you made them aware of it, they apologize. We need to do that same thing for microaggressions, that you may not have meant to hurt someone's feelings, but nonetheless, you did hurt them. And so that's what you have to recognize, the impact of your statements.
Jokes of the Week with Ali Jaffrey. How do poets say hello? Haven't we metaphor? <laughs> Why did the Oreo go to the dentist? Because he lost his filling. <laughs> <laughs> Why did the Eminem go to school? He wanted to be a smarty. <laughs> Why do bees have sticky hair? Because they use honeycombs. <laughs> How does the rabbi make his coffee? He brews it. <laughs> That's all I have for you today. Have a nice day.